Godot 3.2 is released and it comes with a new build system for Android Java modules. So I'm going to show you today how to do Android modules like the Admo module. And to get started you will need a copy of Godot 3.2. So head over to godotengine.org and head over to download. and grab the binary depending on the platform you're currently using. I'm on Linux, so I'm going to download the standard version of 64-bit in Linux. The next thing we're going to need is Android Studio. So head over to develop.android.com and then Download Android Studio depending on your platform. Select the binary corresponding to your platform and then install it. And after you install Android Studio, you want to install the SDK and all the platform tools so that we can get started. The next thing we're going to need is Java. So if you don't have Java installed in your system, you'll want to install it. You can either use OpenJDK or Oracle JDK, but regardless of the implementation, you will want to use Avob JDK 8. So make sure to download and install the Java version, Avob Java version 8. Next up, head over to this GitHub repo. I'll put a link in the description below and clone this. So this contains the AdMob plugin and a demo which I'm going to use to demonstrate how to use this plugin, how to build and use this plugin. And I, I will explain all the methods and the callbacks available with this module. So go ahead and clone this and we'll get started. I've downloaded this repo to my desktop and I'm going to extract it and inside here you can see that we have this plugin that we're going to use and the demo so I'm going to use this demo to demonstrate how to use this plugin and I'm also going to talk through all the methods and callbacks available with this module so how you might use this in your own implementation so I'm going to fire up Godot 3.2 and, and yeah this is just the demo available with the git repo I'm going to edit it As you can see, this is a fairly simple implementation with just three buttons that toggle or enable the banner in this three seal or the rewarded video. They have signals attached to them, so whenever they are toggled, pressed, they that gets attached to a function callback, and the corresponding action is taken. So before I get into the implementation, uh, we have to set up a couple of things. We go to editor, editor settings, and down here we have Android. And we have to set up all of these options to point to the correct thing. So this is the Android debug page which is available inside the SDK platform tools. And just remember where you download the SDK while installing Android Studio and the char signer this is available with the Android Studio and the debug key stored that this can be found and in the home directory of your Android Studio installation and the default default user is the Android debug key and the default password is Android so if you have not regenerated the debug key store these are going to be the defaults and 
this is just the path to the SDK you downloaded. And after that, make sure that you have downloaded and installed the export template for the current version of your editor. So I already have it downloaded the 3.2 stable version of the export templates. So I'm not going to do download them again. But if you, if you haven't done that, just head over here and download them. The next thing we're going to set up is go under to project project settings and on the Android we have to set this module so whenever we access this singleton through code we the project the engine must know where how to access this module so we have to specify this so that we can initialize the singleton After you've done that, head over to project and then click on install Android build template. What this is going to do is this, this is going to create an Android folder inside your project and where we can place modules which can be built separately and while we are exporting the game or our project. So head over here and click on install Android build template install so if we now head over to the project folder we see that we have an android folder inside here so now what we're going to do is that we just copy this plugin and just paste it inside this android folder so that um, when whenever the build system starts to build its it detects this plugin and then do its thing and now if everything is set up properly then we should be able to build we just go to export and then add if you don't have this just click on add and android and then down here we should configure some things all right under here custom template you have to select on the use custom build option and and from here if you are you'll have to specify the key stores so I'm just going to specify the debug key store for now I'm just going to create a debug version not a release version so I'm just going to select the debug and and then down here we have to set up of some permissions so that our module can access the network state and it has it has permission to access the internet internet so if after we check these two boxes these permission will appear in the manifest so and our ads will load correctly so if we've done everything perfectly then this should work so whenever I hit export project and export with debug and click save this should initialize a gradle daemon and it should start building just like a regular android project As you saw that build was successful and I will test that out in a real device later on. 
so that just keep in mind that this also works for one click deploys it so if you have a device attached through usb debugging enabled with with usb debugging enabled then it, it's going to work also for that let's get down to implementation now here we have this add more variable initialized to null so this is just to make sure that we have the if we have the m of singleton available we just we initialize it otherwise we just keep it as null so in order to check if whenever we call load banner load in this tcl or load rewarded video we do have the function otherwise we will be just calling a non-existent function and that will cause an error and and down here we have the is real variable which is set to false so whenever you are testing your ads you don't want to show actual ads so you set this to false and even if you set this to true it's not going to show actual ads because these units down here they are actually testing units and and as the message says you just take the ids from your admob account and replace this here and in ready it is very self-explanatory what it does so if the engine has the module admob then we initialize it to the admob variable and pass pass the instance id to init and we call load banner load interstitial and load rewarded video so they are just three functions defined down here so what they do is they check if the module is available and if they do they call their respective functions available in the singleton and these signal callbacks are specific to this implementation which happen to get called on whenever this is toggled or this is pressed or this is pressed so these may vary depending on your implementation you might want to show ads at different times so this is just for demonstration purpose so it's kept pretty simple and here are a couple of callbacks available and depending on whether there is a network error or it has loaded or it hasn't loaded these get called and you can design game logic depending on this if, if the ad hasn't loaded then there's no need to go to the ad screen and if you're using a rewarded video then this on rewarded callback gets called whenever the user or the player finishes viewing a video and and you might want to give them a life or yeah, I don't know whatever you want to do and this on resize is just a, a function that gets that gets connected through this signal so whenever this noted node 2d gets resize it, it calls the on resize function and it resizes the ad so that is all about the implementation you can look up these function callbacks and methods in the api of this module and let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions regarding this and if you run into any trouble i'll see what i can do